we have another winner from AI Labs from China. So this is Minimax M1 from Minimax. So this particular model has 1 million token context window. It has 80K reasoning tokens as output. So this is eight times that of DeepSeek R1. This 1 million token context window matches the closed source Google Gemini 2.5 Pro. On top of this, this model has already been released on Hugging Face with an Apache 2.0 license, which means that if you have the infrastructure, you can deploy this model locally, right? So this model is powered by a mixture of experts architecture combined with a lightning attention mechanism. So this model has a total of 456 billion parameters with 45.9 billion parameters activated per token. So this model, as I said, has a context length of 1 million tokens and output context of 80K thinking tokens. Okay, and the best part is this model was developed, you know, what they're saying over here is that the entire training cost, not the entire reinforcement learning phase cost or reinforcement learning training process cost them just 500K dollars. Just for comparison, DeepSeek R1 our reasoning model, the cost was close to five to six million for training. For training OpenAI's GPT-4, which is more than a year old model now, it is actually 100 million. So this is astonishingly cheap amount for a frontier LLM. So their efficiency is created to a custom reinforcement learning called CISPO, which clips important sampling weights rather than token updates and to the hybrid attention design that helps streamline scaling. So this is a crazy model from Minimax. And what they're saying is in terms of performance also, if you look at you know, how this model performs across other closed source models or open source models, what they're saying is in the open weights model space, this particular model is quite close to DeepSeek R1, okay? Or it kind of beats DeepSeek R1 on certain metrics, uh, certain benchmarks like AIME 2024 over here. If you look at the benchmark scores, right? It, the 80K thinking tokens kind of beats uh, DeepSeek R1 on many benchmarks over here, okay? Uh, if you look at uh, the original DeepSeek R1, the latest release R10528, if you compare to that, you, if you see over here, the performance is competitive in the benchmarks. And what they're saying over here is that in the SWE benchmark, the DeepSeek, uh, the min Minimax M1 uh, 40K and Minimax M1 80K achieved performance of 55.6 and 56 percentage. This is quite close to uh, or below DeepSeek R1's 0528, but it is better than all the other open weight models. So if you are looking for an open weight model, this model is definitely much better than DeepSeek R1 in terms of you know, um, it is quite close to performance in Deep Sea 1, but in terms of cost and other things, it's going to be cheaper than Deep Sea Car 1. They also have an API availability. Um, so they're, uh, what they're saying is that their APIs have industry's lowest prices for an input length of zero to 200K. The price is $0.4 per million tokens or 40 cents per million tokens for input. And for output, it is $2.2 .2 per million tokens. For Longest input lengths, which are in the range of 200K to 1 million, the price increases to dollars 1.3 per million tokens for input and dollars 2.2 million tokens for output. This first pricing tire is more cost effective than DeepSeek R1 and second tire is not supported by DeepSeek model. So this is a good alternative to closed source models for you. You can try this particular model, which is what I have done. If you look at this particular bouncing balls, rotating cube animation, uh, this was created using Minimax, okay. So you can try out Minimax, uh, you know, chat for free. You can create an account over here and you can try it out. So here I gave a prompt like this, create a three dimensional model of 50 realistic looking balls bouncing inside a spinning cube. All code should be contained within a single HTML file. The ball should bounce off the walls of the cube and should be rendered with proper physics to simulate realistic motion. The cube should rotate slowly around center to consider dynamic view of the scene. So it uh, thought for close to 195.7 seconds and it gave this particular output. So if you look at this output, sometimes the ball do go out of the cube, but it is pretty decent, right? So I tried another uh, use case over here. I uploaded a 10K form of NVIDIA. This is close to 92 pages, right? And uh, I asked how much did NVIDIA spend on employment retirement plans? So it actually thought for close to 30 seconds and then it pulled out this particular thing saying that um, this is detailed in note 16 and the employment retirement plans, okay? So if I go to note 16 over here, actually it was present over there. 
see it is present over here so it is pulling from page 78 of this 96 page documents right and then i also asked another question about what are the risks for nvidia it thought for close to 60 seconds and then it is like i need to figure out what are the main risks for nvidia are risks related to mar industry and markets risk related to demand supply manufacturing it pulls out that and it gives a nice summary over here okay about what risks are outlined in the 10k filing so with this 1 million context you can give a huge set of documents to this particular model for processing so that is also excellent over here i tried another road rash game so first i tried without thinking enabled uh, so without thinking enabled i tried this particular model and uh, you know it did not render it properly over here uh, the code was not great then with thinking i tried so with thinking it actually you know for this road rash game using 3js it uh, thought thought um, you know it did thinking close to 308 seconds and then it created this particular game again not uh, you know what i saw over here is it's not that great over here for this particular prompt okay so you need to test this particular model to see if it is good for your tasks but this is a good alternative to deep seek r1 api in terms of cost and in terms of you know the output thinking tokens window and there are the other innovations like their lightning attention okay so you can check out their technical report to understand more about this particular model that for the moment this is a very good model when in com when compared to say a deep sea car one this has been released with an apache 2.0 license which means that if you have the infrastructure you can do a local deployment of this model as well okay so this is a short video on minimax m1 from minimax ai hope this video is useful see you in another video